How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator video and in today's video guys we are going to be working on the Dodge Monaco right here the police truck or the taxi uh, turned police truck pretty much and so we got if you guys didn't see the last video go look at the last video it's super interesting um, this thing looks like a taxi kind of it had like blue police livery on it but it had the taxi light on it and a couple of other things in the interior too so just some Weird little things like that. Uh, so we went through, cleaned that all up, fixed it. Um, I'm going to be fixing the suspension any minute now, um, but I'm going to be doing this first. Uh, but let me get here. So yeah, we got, we're rolling with a V8 double carbon here. I think we're switching it out to a V8 uh, Hemi Shaker, though. Yep, V8 overhead cam, overhead valve Hemi Shaker. As we're switching it out to, I got it prepped and ready to go right here. We're going to be building the engine. Um, and yeah, we're going to be seeing how much this 19, was a, was that a 74 or something like that, um, Monaco, uh, this is, it's kind of like the same, uh, stuff that they used in Dukes of Hazard. uh, some of the police used this to, like, chase them down and everything, uh, so, yeah, oh, I just realized, that is, that is glitched, you can see through the hood, one way, oh, sorry, alright, so, uh, let me click on the engine, Let's get working on this. So it looks like we need. So it's gonna be a V8 overhead valve C motor. So it's gonna be that orangey motor or the orangey color. I don't even do know how to describe it. Uh, let me see. I'll grab these arms because I know we need these arms. That, that. I'm just trying to get the basic stuff right now. And we are also going to be doing this uh, performance. So it is going to be. Uh, it is going to be like pretty, pretty crazy. Hopefully, pretty crazy. We're going to be trying to put a lot of uh, a lot of power into it. Let's get the oil pan. It's honestly pretty easy. You just look for like the stuff like this. Just look for that, and, and you're good. Have that. I think we're good at that. Yeah, we should be good at that. Let's go to tuning. Grab our pistons. Okay, there we go. Flip this bad boy over. Uh, let's start out. Ooh, a little laggy here for some reason. There we go. Ah, of course. I bought the wrong... Oh, no, I... Wait, camshaft. Wait a second here. Uh, V8 overhead valve C. There's the camshaft. Okay, weird. Um, I did think I bought the wrong crankshaft. I do think I bought the wrong one. V8 overhead valve C. There it is. Yeah, there's the camshaft. Okay. Now we can get underway with the work I need to be doing. Zoom in all the way. So I think this thing probably makes around 400 stock horsepower. Um, so we're going to be trying to get somewhere up around two-ish times that. Uh, probably not two times, probably like one and a half times uh, that amount. Um, because we need something that can go pretty quick. Oh, we're out of rod caps. Uh, we'll do V8 oil. Get our overhead valve oil filter. And then we'll grab our rod caps. Need eight of them bad boys. And I don't remember what this old timey shaker looks like. I do, if I remember correctly, it's a, is it a Plymouth one? Did the Plymouth have the shaker? I feel like the, Plym the Plymouth had the shaker. Yeah, the the Barracuda, I think, had the Hemi Shaker in it. So I did work on one fairly recently, actually, so. Kind of fresh in my mind. Alright, now that that's done, we get the oil pan on there. Secure that on with a few nuts and bolts. Whoa. Oil filter. A V8 oil filter, of course. Refuse to take the, uh... Used to take the normal one. 
Okay. Rotate, rotate. And then for these heads, we're going to be going with engine head A, H, engine head B, H. Okay. So V8 overhead valve H, B, H, A, H. Then I'm picking up these ones because, I mean, obviously you can tell that they meant for this because it does have the yellowy orange on there. So that is a little helpful. Take that intake manifold. Anything else in here? Maybe those coils, but I'm not sure. Get those eight. Uh, V8 overhead valve H. I think we're going to need some rocker arms here, which I feel like I should be able to find in here. I'll buy that one. Cam gear. Any rocker arms in here, guys? Any rocker arms? There it is. Yeah, the Plymouth ones. Those two. I think that's it, though. Let me pick up that, by the way. Just in case I bought the wrong one. Um, and then we're going to grab our valve. No, value. Valve. I'm not sure which push rods they're going to want us to use. So I'm going to wait a second. Get this bad boy strapped in. Now which ones are we using? We're using the overhead valve Fs. Okay. So 16, technically. One for each intake and exhaust. Yep, that's what it looks like. And... We can do all this in one quick swoop here. And I saw some of you guys commented uh, in the comment section. I think I've addressed it before. Um, the way I place stuff on really, really quickly is like I'll position my camera like this. So I can just always be holding down the button. Um, and then also I have my left hand on my enter key. So I can just always be hitting the enter button. And that's how I can quickly uh, swap things in. Mainly stuff like uh, pistons or uh, these push rods, obviously. Just a little little thing I, I learned after doing at least 100 cars. Alrighty. Let me get these rocker arms on quick. So we're gonna get engine head cover B, engine head cover A. We have the manifold. Let me go into here quick. Grab our pump and filter. Uh, we're also gonna be grabbing our transmission and clutch stuff. So we are gonna upgrade them. All right, engine head cover. So it's just engine head cover A and engine head cover B. I was able to look for the Plymouth symbol, so I was able to find it pretty quickly. Zoom out, there we go. So it looks like these things are gonna be taking coils, I think. Two, four carbs, okay. All right, so carb A, carb B. Put the fuel filter in there. Performance, let's go to the carbs. Carb A. Carb B. Um, and I'm not sure what the shaker has for it, so we're gonna wait on that. And then we're gonna go to the ignition, and we're gonna get the distributor, one of those. One rotor and just a normal cap. I think I have the uh, Whoa, I have a plus four. Holy crap. I Think I already have the clips for this distributor. So Okay, so we need the Hemi Cuda base. Which I don't think I have one right No. Did not think I did Okay, we're missing clips and H wires. Yes. Okay. 
clips. Uh, I think we are doing B clips for this one. Yeah. A clips are, I think, only used for the air intakes. Cover on. The water pump on in front of that. I wonder what that is. Is that? I have no idea what that is. Alright, arm A, arm C. Alright, V overhead valve F, I six B, okay. I six B. Oh look there's the T series one. And then the power steering overhead valve F. These all work fantastically together. And do I have the belts? Okay, so the V8 overhead valve C belts is what I'm gonna be using. Hemi Kuda shaker. I think we taking these. I'm gonna look for the air filter somewhere else though. Yes. Okay, we got that. And then I need to go back over here. And we need to find our V8 overhead valve C serpentine belts. That was pretty easy. Get that one on. Uh, radiator fan B, go grab that really quick. And I think that'll do it once we get the top put on. One, two, three, four. Oh, we also gotta do the uh, transmission stuff. I forgot about that. Oh, I still need the air cover. Okay. I guess that kind of makes sense. I figured the shaker top was the air cover for it. There we go. So it takes air in from there. And then the ignition wires are handling all of the... Uh, what is it called? Coils. Yeah, coils. So I did not add coils. Um, and then I guess fuel. Uh, oh yeah, fuel's carburetor. Alright. I think we're good. Ready to pop this bad boy in. Alright, 100% charge on this. I still need to get this thing worked on. It's been chilling in here forever. Okay, V8 Hemi Shaker. Alright, let's get all the other stuff that you need to function properly in here. I think that's it for the engine bay. How does it look? It works, kind of. <laughs> it's all right, it's a mod. I don't expect it to be perfect. And looks like I did do redo the brakes, right? Okay, yeah, I did, I did redo the brakes. The brakes are okay for now. Oh, pop back over here, there we go. So, V overhead valve C, V A overhead valve C. Yeah, this might be one of those cars that has almost no exhaust that I'm able to improve upon. At least maybe. Is that it? There's the front exhaust pipe piece. So we do have middle mufflers we can add in, which is nice. But then from here on back, we're doing rear muffler, V8 overhead valve, and that's it. Which is good though, that's something that we can actually add a little bit of horsepower with. Um, V8 overhead valve muffler. 
I bought three. I don't know why. Oops. Now we can turn around and direct our attention to the gearbox. Oh yeah, I don't I don't have one of these gearboxes, so. Custom gearbox with the F. This motor is going to be beefy. Now we have the drive shaft. We do. Nice. Everything lines up perfectly. I like to see that. And then I think there shouldn't be any grayed out parts. Fuel pump. Fuel pump. All right, get that rusted out tank out of there. It's kind of a shame you can't ever restart any of the tank stuff. Uh, but, I mean, I guess I understand it. It'd be pretty hard to get inside of there and get all the rust out. And fill pump. And I think it'll run now. Um, we're going to move it quick, though, to the dyno. Oh, I can't even move it to the dyno. Okay. I was going to move it to the dyno so I could add some oil to it, but... I'll just drop her down. All right, get a little glug, glug, glug. You would not want this thing coming after you during it back in the 70s. This this thing would hunt you down very, very quickly. Now let's just see how quickly it would actually get to you. So estimated horsepower 425. I'm guessing 730. That is my guess. Oh my gosh, 759. That is even better than I thought. Wow, a 78% gain. Wow, okay, a 78.58% gain in horsepower. That is, uh, what is that, 324? That's, or 329, or something like that, I don't, even, I don't even know. 54, something like that, 34. That is quite a bit. That is quite a uh, quite a hefty number of uh, horsepower there. Um, let me add in a steering wheel really quick. And let's take this on the drag strip. I'm actually curious. We'll throw this one in there. That'll look fine. Oh, I'm actually curious to see how much horsepower this, or how much, or what time this thing makes, is what I'm trying to say. Jeez. Okay. Move it to entrance B. So that one is 759. What was the truck again? Let me check. Truck was 773. 759. Okay, so these two are, uh, these two are a little... Pretty, pretty quick. You definitely not want to go up against these. The Monaco Taxi. So yeah, I think if you find the quote, quote, police edition to be the Monaco uh, police, um, but you can just convert whichever one you want into whatever you want. So yeah. Oh, and also guys, big news. Uh, next video, there will be a, uh, what was it called? Uh, a Chevy Colorado that I will be uh, doing. They finally added that mod in. Okay, so suspension's not done. So as you can see, this thing's a little bit shaky off the off the gate, but that's okay. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, yeah. Looks like we need some we need some drag slicks. Oh my gosh. So this thing is not gonna want to go unless you put some drag slicks on there. Because these normal tires, I guess, can't handle the spin out. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll stop this. Okay, this thing definitely fast, but you do not want to uh, actually try and race this. Oh my gosh. Okay, turn back to the garage. But there we go, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Now we got two fully done police cars in our little arsenal here. Um, I'm gonna keep doing more and more police cars that I can find and I'm gonna try and build up a whole parking level of nothing but just police and maybe even a fire fighter truck. I think there might have been one if I remember correctly. 
But it's just going to be nothing but police cars. Then I'm going to be able to show you guys all the police cars we got. But if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. Next video is going to be the Chevy Colorado. We got to go find one of those first. Um, but yeah, we're doing. Finally, I'll have a Chevy truck in the game. Finally, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys subscribed yet, less than 5,000 away from 100K, and I'm super excited. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.